So how critical is backing up? Asked the producers of Toy Story 2, which nearly never happened. A Pixar employer accidentally entered a command that permanently deleted all the movie files. And unfortunately, the backup system failed at the same time. It was by good fortune that the director took home a copy of the files each week to work on that finally saved production. And the rest is history. Toy Story 2 went on to gross over $373 million. So in this instance, we could say it was very crucial. Let's look at the options for backing up. This can represent our storage space or hard drive. This can represent some of our data, more specifically the operating system, such as register files, system files, page files, system volume information, DLL files that Windows rely on to run, the Windows drivers, and thousands of other files needed specifically for Windows to operate. This can represent the rest of our information on the hard drive. Contacts, Documents, Downloads, Favourite, Links, Music and Pictures etc. So this is the total content of the hard drive. All the data and operating system, everything. For this next part we are going to use the old tape backup systems just for demonstration purposes. The tapes are magnetic and by changing the magnetic properties of the tape we can store information. Like the tape cassettes and similar for the old video recorder tapes. They are not used these days as they are slow and prone to damage and compared to other backing up systems very expensive. But they prove to be useful here to explain the different backup procedures. Here we now have our tape drive and we wish to magnetically record on our tape the total hard drive content. For illustrative purposes, the tape starts and records all the data on the Windows system files. It then continues to record the rest of the data from contracts to pictures etc. This is what is referred to as a mirror backup, or sometimes called image backup because whatever is on the storage device at that point in time is saved to the backup. Notice the time index, 16. We shall see how this varies through the backup process. Now let's say if the hard drive developed a fault and had to be reformatted or replaced. How do we restore the files? With just a single tape. It has the contents of the original hard drive. We have to bear in mind that this example is only for illustrative purposes and we've not included certain factors that control the backing up or restoration of the hard drive. This now brings us on to the next type of backup called full backup and straight away the first question that might pop into your mind is that not a mirror or image backup? Microsoft describes as a full backup as full backup is the starting point for all other backups and contains all the data in the folder and files that are selected to be backed up. This is in need of some explanation. Let's return to our backup system we had earlier. Here we have our operating system information, but in a full backup this is not included in the backup process. We shall see the implications of this shortly. Once again we have our other data files from contracts to pictures etc. We can add or exclude some of these files and we shall see an example of this later. Now let's run through the backup process again. Remember we are not backing up the operating system, just the data. As a result T is equal to 12 for the full backup and if we recall T was 16 for the mirror backup. We can expect this to be quicker since we have not been backing up everything on the hard drive. So how do we do a full restoration? First we have to reinstall Windows then the graphics adapter, printer and any other devices along with any apps not included within our full backup. Now this may seem that the best option is for the mirror backup and yes it does have many advantages of the full backup but the downside to mirror backup is the amount of time that it takes to complete, the space that it uses. Some files in Windows never change so it seems pointless in backing them up repeatedly and that the backup is frozen in time. In other words, they never change unless a further image backup 
is run. While the full backup, although it does take time to run, takes less time and less storage space, only backs up what we want and can be a current snapshot of the files and folders. So now that we have looked at the theory of the two backups, let's look at the practical example in part two.